Hello everyone, welcome to Microsoft Dynamics NAV Development Training. In this video, I will show you how you can use NAV Development Environment. So first, go to Programs and look for Dynamics NAV Development Environment. And open the environment. You see, this is a very simple window form application. And have a very less menu. See, on the top. There is only a six menus, File, Edit, View, Tools, Window, and Help. And so, and here some shortcuts are also available for you. For the developers, easy to use this environment. So first, if you go to Files, then there is only two options. One is Database and Exit. Under the Database, you see there is only two options of label at this time. One is new and second one is open. New is for create a new database and open is used for open existing database. So in this case, I will use open to open a database that is available on the server. The open database window contains the following options to choose. First, you have to choose the server name. When you install the nav on your system and install a demo database, then you find the name of the computer slash nav demo. This will be your server name. So choose the server name and click OK. After that, when you click on the database name, then maybe first time you got this error because here in the authentication tab the database server authentication is in a, is chosen so you have to enter the username and the password but the demo database installed on my local machine and i am using the windows authentication then choose windows authentication and now there is no issue will be shown and you have to click on the database name and the help the help is very important if you don't understand what nav function is actually doing then you can use this window to understand when you click on the first window a uh, help we use tables to store information in different fields and the page the page is very important in nav just imagine why website uses a different web pages to show the different information display the information that's the same things is this page object doing in nav it is used for display the information to the user and the report there are several so many reports in the system and it's give the dif different information to the particular nav user to look into the different reports and the code unit the code unit is very important for developers here in code unit developer can create their own functions for different purpose after that the query query is very important to filter to get records from our different tables xml port xml port is very important to interact with different systems using this xml port you can easily insert the data into the different tables and finally the menu shoot it is very important for configure the different departments and different navigations to the NAV client so the nav is totally depend upon these objects you can use the different dot net functionalities also in the NAV by using the dot net interoperability feature of NAV. So I hope you understand what options are available in the development environment. So I hope you understand what options are available in NAV development environment. So how the developers can use this very simple environment to develop things in NAV. I hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you for watching have a nice day